everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's been a hot minute since I've done a little vloggy vlog. My goal for the year is to get back into vlogging. So I'm starting now and I want you guys to hold me accountable because I actually love doing it. Like I really, really enjoy vlogging. And I've been getting a lot of DMs on Instagram being like, are you gonna start vlogging again? Why did you stop vlogging? So I'm doing it. And what a better time to do it because Joel and I bought our first house together and our settlement just went through. So we are officially moving into our new house on Monday, which is crazy and very exciting. We bought a little bit of a bigger house than what I currently own. I'm actually gonna be turning this place into an investment property and yeah, living out of that one with Joel, which is really exciting. Um, I'm just so excited for a little bit more space. For those that don't know, obviously this house is, this house is still a three bedroom house, but it's really quite small and narrow. And we do have jacks as well now permanently. So we want like a bit of a backyard for him. And the new place has like a really good entertainment area. So we can, you know, have friends over a little bit more and we've got a spare room in the other house so when lily comes over and lucy and nikki and stuff like that they're gonna have somewhere to stay um it's just very exciting so i thought i would do a little moving vlog because we're currently obviously in the process of packing up this house and i moved into this house when i bought it in 2020 so there's a lot to pack up but i have done most of it i've been packing here with the girls all week um and yeah most of it is packed up i still need to do a few bits and bobs and joel still needs to do all of his stuff but majority of it is done and i tell you what guys it feels so good to do like a proper cleanse like declutter like literally i just went through my bathroom cupboard and threw out everything because a lot of it was actually expired and like i'm never going to use it especially now that it's expired so it was really nice to do a big cleanse and I also got rid of so many clothes. I gave a lot of my clothes away to some of my friends and I did take, why is that going blurry? I did take a lot of it to sell those. Um, so, I mean, whoever finds that bag is going to be very, very happy. Um, but yeah, I got rid of so much stuff and I just feel like it's a good cleanse, good fresh start. I'm actually making some very big life changes this year. So it kind of feels good to be, you know, getting rid of a lot of stuff whilst I'm in the process of doing that because I feel like, you know, it's a little bit of a fresh start for me um, mentally. So yeah, let's move this house, baby. I'm really, really excited to start like buying like a bit of furniture for the house. Obviously we just bought a house, so I can't really afford to buy like a whole heap of new furniture, but I have ordered a new sofa that I have literally wanted for so long, but it's a little bit out of my price range. Um, but I am thankfully so lucky to be able to work with them. So I did get a little dizzy off of that. So I did end up getting my dream couch, which I'm very, very excited for. I really wanted a sofa that I could take the covers off the cushions that was really important to me because the current sofa that i have is beautiful it's one of those big white cloud couches but it just gets so dirty so easily and you can take the covers off but because it's white white rather than like an off-white or a cream it's still really hard to clean and i have got stains on it so i have taken the covers of that to the dry cleaners and they're currently getting dry cleaned for fucking 300 dollars literally buy but um it's gonna look nice and fresh so we do have two lounge areas in the new place so that's gonna go in the downstairs one and then my new sofa is gonna be for joel and i's little sacred area upstairs i really want to make the upstairs area of this house where our bedroom is sort of like just our spot because when we have people over we won't really have a need for people to go upstairs if there's a lounge downstairs and then there's our area upstairs so that's the goal and then i have ordered a dining table and a tv unit from a little perth designer called little caves i've actually used them before worked with them before and purchased stuff from them before for the studio um so and it's just nice to support like a little small perth business you know especially in the current times like yeah so and i did actually snatch up 
a few end of financial year sale things. I just don't want to buy too much furniture before being in the house because you never know what you need like until you're in there. So I just got a few little bits and bobs like I got a lamp. <laughs> Um, I got some dining chairs because I am getting a tiny dining table made from Little Cave. So I knew what sort of dining chairs that I wanted to match with that because I'm still keeping the current dining table that I have, which I will show you guys right now. Please ignore the mess, but this is our current dining table and I plan on having this one upstairs. But see how the chairs have that sort of vibe? I actually got very similar ones here they were on sale where did i get them from they were on sale from temple and webster and i got six chairs for eight hundred dollars and they were usually a lot more than that so that was a bargain for me they're very similar to the ones i just showed you except they do have a little bit of rattan on them so i think they'll be really cute i do really want to incorporate a lot more like neutral colors into my house rather than it being all white. My house right now is currently just all white and it doesn't, I feel like it feels a bit more homely when you have other tones in it. I still wanna keep it very neutral, but I wanna have like different woods, um, you know, creams, whites, just like a whole bunch and then like have accent colors, you know? Like I brought a really cute lamp that's got a black curved stem and then it's got a cream lampshade um and then yeah just a few little bits and bobs i did get a little wooden side table as well which i think will be really cute and a wooden coffee table and i think on like a white rug in the house it's going to look really beautiful because we have jarrah floors in the new house and i've actually always wanted jarrah floors at the moment this is the color of our floors and they are so beautiful but i've always for some reason since i was younger i think because i've always loved character homes I've always wanted like the dark Jarrah floors, so I'm very excited about that. But I'm most excited about this goddamn sofa because guys, I've wanted it for so long. It's been on my Pinterest board for literally ages and I never knew where it was from. And then I posted a story about it on my Instagram and a lot of people told me where it was from. So I was like, okay, I need her, I need her. And it's also just a really good quality couch. Like I spoke to a few people that I know have it and they said, once you wear it in, like once you obviously, use it for a while it gets really comfy and it kind of molds to your body so i'm very excited about that but enough with the couch because i have a little hack a moving hack that i want to show you guys but this is my moving hack for my clothes uh are you kidding thank you tiktok i love you tiktok is good for everything but this is just like so genius so you can just pull these off pack them into a box and it's done and then you don't have to rehang everything because you guys know your girl has a lot of clothes, like a lot of clothes. Although, like I said, I did a huge, huge cull. So I'm really, really excited. I'm hoping I can condense all of these clothes into one room because right now I have this room, um, but I also have these clothes here. And what I want to do is I really want to get a custom wardrobe from Ikea made. I haven't actually had any of my friends do it, so I don't really know how it works. So if you guys have ever had a custom wardrobe made from Ikea, let me know. I was thinking about getting someone to actually design one, but then I was like, I think they're gonna be a lot more costly. And also, I don't know if you can move the ones that you get like designed by someone else. So I'm gonna go with an Ikea one and then just go in there and get them to custom make it to whatever I want. You know, like get jewelry parts in there, things for my shoes, like just drawers, everything all in one so that I don't have to have racks around my room because I feel like the racks just fill up the space. It, does, it doesn't save enough space when you have racks all around the room. Like it just makes the room really small. So I'm gonna get a custom wardrobe made, which I'm really, really excited for. One thing that I need to learn with this house is I need to be patient and just like buy little bits and bobs as I go because I feel like my style changes really quickly and I want to be obsessed with everything. So I'm trying to buy furniture pieces that are really timeless and they won't go out of trend or anything like that. I feel like when I bought this place, I did buy a few things that I'm like, mm, I kind of don't really like it now because it's like a little bit like trend driven. So it's not really that cool anymore. But most of the stuff in here is I'm going to be keeping for the new house because it's stunning 
Um, but I'm very, very excited to show you guys the new house. We get the keys tomorrow. Settlement was today. Um, and we get the keys tomorrow. So, yeah, we're just going to be packing all weekend and moving. We have remo removalists booked on Monday. And, yeah, so we're officially going to be sleeping in our new house as of Monday. Vlog time. Are you excited to move into the new house? Oh my god, good morning everyone. Please ignore the rogue head. <laughs> I just finished hot Pilates. Note to self, don't ever get a blow dry before you're about to do hot Pilates. Um, but wow, I feel so good. I don't know why I'm choosing to do workouts when I have to move my house, but I am. It made me feel really good. I went with Tamika and then I went and got a decaf coffee after. Guys, by the way, I've switched to decaf coffee ever since I got barley belly and it's literally changed my life like my energy levels throughout the day i don't get like a crash at 3 p.m i also don't get an upset upset stomach as much anymore like i used to get a really gurgly stomach after having coffee and it just didn't feel i feel like it just didn't sit right with me um and I started like looking into it and like listening to a lot of podcasts about caffeine and how much it can upset your gut um, don't quote me on this. I'm not a fucking doctor, so don't come for me in the comments, but this is just my experience. Cutting out actual caffeine and switching to decaf has been the best decision of my life. I'm about to go have a shower really quickly. I've got about half an hour, and then I am going to meet some of my girlfriends at Little Bay, which is a beautiful little cafe in Perth, because one of my friends has recently had a baby, and I haven't met him yet. So we're going to go do that. I also am going with like 10 of my other girlfriends. And these are my girlfriends that I've been friends with for like 10 plus years. And we never catch up because our lives are just so busy. Um, so I'm really excited to see everyone because I feel like some of them I haven't seen in like over six months. So I'm really, really, really excited. Happy Saturday. And then... Joel and I are going to go get our keys at, I think, 2.30, and then we are going to start packing the rest of the stuff. Guys, while I'm here, I'm about to get ready. I literally am running so late. I don't know why I'm doing this, but I am on a goddamn roll with my vlogging, so here we are. really hope you can't see my addresses in the back of any of this. Oh, I'm moving out anyways, so I don't care. Um, so, I've changed my base routine like my skin prep for my makeup and it is fucking life-changing. I'll insert a picture here of when my makeup is done and how much it's changed my skin. I did my makeup yesterday. So I, Joel's sister gave me this little tester because I was going to buy the full one, but I hadn't tried it yet. Um, we were in Mecca the other day. Oh my God, I need to take my engagement ring off. I need to learn to do this because I keep getting it really gross and yucky from doing my makeup with it um but it's the charlotte tilbury magic serum and honestly so what i've actually i've changed a lot of things in my base routine so i see the skin fairy now and i love her so much god she's such a gem i've i've been good friends with carmen from the skin fairy for a really long time so i'm very much happy to be back with her especially now that i'm not on accutane um so i did oh my god i just had like a little huge bit of moisturizer on my nose that probably looked like a book out that's a mood so i put my dmk moisturizer on and my o cosmetics spf before this like literally just then when i got out the shower and now i'm putting on the charlotte tilbury magic serum and now now i saw all the hype on tiktok about this fucking bobby brown primer and don't get me wrong i do like it i do like it but for the price and yeah, I just think the MAC strobe cream, this OG, I've literally had this for years. I don't know if this shit expires, but I've been using it. Jax. Um, Jax, stop. I just find it so much better. It's so glowy. Like, I don't know if you guys can see the consistency there, but it's a really nice glow. Whereas the Bobbi Brown's kind of, the Bobbi Brown one just reminds me of a basic moisturizer, to be honest, or a basic primer. So I do that first. So I do my DMK moisturizer, my O Cosmetics SPF, and then I do the Charlotte Tilbury Magic 
serum and then I do the strobe cream and another thing that's changed my base makeup is putting on my Charlotte Tilbury flawless filter with a brush my makeup artist taught me this the other day I was always using a beauty blender and I also wasn't using enough for some reason I thought that you weren't meant to use too much of this underneath your foundation but it just changes the game honestly it's I use shade four, yep, shade four in this, by the way. But putting it on with a brush, I feel like it just makes your skin look a lot more like skin rather than cakey makeup. And I'm really loving the natural makeup look at the moment. So this is what I'm doing. I'm gonna do a really quick get ready with me for you guys. And I mean, when she does it, she does it a lot smoother than me. Like she'll literally be like this. <laughs> But sis doesn't have time to do that today, so this is what we're working with. This is a fucking terrible angle. My hair looks disgusting. I'm wearing a jacket that just does not go with my outfit because my heater has decided to break right when I'm about to get a tenant in this house. So that's just one more thing that I have to pay to get serviced. Guys, honestly, becoming a landlord is quite stressful. Like there's so many little things that you're not, you don't realize you have to do until you become a landlord and you find out from your property manager, whoever you choose to go with. Like I had to pay like, I can't remember how much it was. I think it was like $300 to get my um, certificate for my smoke alarms, even though they're working completely fine. Like this house was built in 2020. So there's really not that much wrong with it, apart from things that I've done to the place, like chipped the walls and marked the walls and all of that sort of stuff. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of like little things that you have to pay for that really fucking add up. Like, it's actually crazy. This is called adulting, right? Good God, my mum would be proud of me. Mum used to bloody do everything for me. Not do everything for me, but she used to help me with everything. Like, even when I was, like, working casually and studying a fashion degree at uni, she would, like, and I was, like, didn't have much money and stuff. She'd go and put petrol in my car and do all that stuff. And here I am having to fucking be a landlord, essentially. <laughs> wow. How times have changed, huh? But as you can see, let me go in a little bit of a better light just to show you guys really what how much it makes a difference. Like, look at the glow. I just feel like everything goes on a lot more seamlessly and my skin looks a lot more like skin when I use a brush and also when I do my skin prep that way. Like, it's just so glowy, you know what I mean? Like, I really wouldn't even need to put foundation on right now, but I'm going to. I've been using the same foundation for so long, guys. I honestly am just don't want to try another one because this one works so well for me. It's the Giorgio Armani Illuminous Silk. Very much an OG. And I'm running out, which is just great. Add that to the list of the things I need to pay for this month. Um, and I used shade 6. And again, I'm going to go in with that same brush. I did used to use a wet beauty blender, which I know a lot of people do. But my makeup artist is a fucking genius and I trust anything that that woman says. She's literally like my second mum and <laughs> she's literally like my second mum slash therapist. So literally anything she says, I will abide by because she's the one that does my makeup all the time. And whenever she does my makeup, I fucking love it. So the goal is to be able to do my makeup like her. Um, although I will never stop using her because I just love catching up with her. Um, the only thing that I'm really not good at doing in terms of my makeup, guys, like I feel like I'm getting really good at everything else, but my eyelashes, like when Shana does my makeup, she, or Alona, so Shana and Alona are my go-to makeup artists and they forever will be. But yeah, I'm really bad at doing my lashes, like putting individuals on. And I do have a theory as to why I'm really bad. God, I'm so pale at the moment, guys. Don't even think this foundation matches me right now. I love that for me. Get me in some sun. Um, 
yeah, so I can't do my lashes. Like, I can't put the little individuals on like Shana can. But I feel like everything else I've nearly got down pat. Um, oh my god, also, let's just have a little catch up because I feel like I haven't done this in fucking so long. Because I've been so busy running Venom that I don't really have the time to vlog anymore. And you know what? Things are about to change. This things are about to change. So um, I'm going to start vlogging a whole lot more. Just gave you a little hint there onto how much my life is about to change. But um, I am surprising Lily with something. And I can't tell you guys what it is just in case she sees this vlog um but basically my manager who is also like a second mum to me process concealer this is shade 4.5 um basically my manager is getting married in september the start of september um in the wit sundays on hamilton island and i've never been there before and i've always wanted to go there i actually right before covid booked flights and accommodation for joel and i to go there and then COVID happened so we had to get, um cancel those um so i'm really really excited to go i'm also just really excited to go and get some sun because usually in winter i will either go to europe or bali a few times but because of the house and everything going on in my work life i haven't really had the chance to go away which is fine but i'm just not a winter girly you know what i mean i go a bit to lulu in um winter so I'm really fucking excited for this, but basically I am going over for my manager's wedding and Joel can't get any time off work because of our big America trip that we did earlier in the year. Um, so I said to Lily, doll, I'll pay for the accommodation. You just fly up because obviously she's in Queensland. So it's a lot cheaper for someone in Queensland to go to the Wit Sundays than someone in Perth. But I just used my points um, for my Wit Sundays trip because I have a lot of frequent flyer points because um, of my business cards. And um, I've got a surprise for Lily. And she's quite literally going to die. By the way, guys, these new, new nude sticks are fucking game changing. Um, Jax, stop. Um, and yeah i'm surprising her with something and she has no idea what it is and she's absolutely not going to be able to guess what it is either and let me tell you she is gonna fucking die like i really wanted to do this for her because she has had a really tough year um business is very hard and running a business is very hard <laughs> i feel for her i know how it feels i've been through it Thankfully, Venom is doing quite well at the moment, to be honest. And it's very weird because I'm personally not enjoying running Venom at the moment. I'm personally not enjoying just having a clothing brand in general. Um, I just want a bit of a break, to be honest, guys. That's how my life's going at the moment. I feel like I've been full steam ahead for the last six years of my life. And to be honest, I feel like I'm a little bit broken mentally. I feel like I haven't... Um, process a lot of things like my mom and stuff like that so anyways enough about that i've got a very good surprise for lily and she's going to flip her actual lid and she's going to find out what the surprise is when we get to the wit sundays um and i don't want to say too much because i don't want to give it away oh my god i think i just heard to make up I'm literally not even remotely ready. Um, yeah, she's going to die. And she deserves it because she's one of my best friends in the whole fucking wide world. And when I tell you she's had a tough year, she's had a fucking tough year. So she deserves it. And I'm just excited to spend some time away with her. She's not going to be coming to the wedding, obviously. Um, so she, she can just chill when I go to the wedding. But I'm so excited to watch my manager get married. Isn't it crazy, guys, that I have only been to one wedding in my life and it was my ex-boyfriend's friend and I still cried. Like, what? I still cried. So I can't imagine how much I'm going to cry at Jacinta's wedding. Um, she also 
won't show me her dress, which is so fair. I probably wouldn't show anyone my dress either apart from Tamika and Lily. Um, but I'm fucking really, really excited to see it, especially because she, I know that she got her dress made at the place that I'm going to try on dresses at um, in Sydney in August, which I'm obviously going to vlog for you guys because that's going to be such a moment. Lily's going to be there with me. I really wish Tamika could be there with me, but we just can't with work at the moment. It would be literally impossible and it would set us back a lot if I tried to get Tamika over on this trip. Um, but obviously Tamika can come on. Like this is just the first like um, trip that I'm doing where I'm trying on dresses. Like I've booked like three appointments at three different places. Um, uh, sorry, an appointment at three different places. Um, so, um, <laughs> yeah, like once we get down to the nitty gritty where I actually want to choose a dress, obviously Tamika will one million percent be coming because she's my fucking maid of honor, like doll, of course. Um, but I'm really excited to try on wedding dresses, guys. I, I, the thing is with wedding dresses, I love weddings. I love weddings. I just love love. I love love so much. And I never used to. I used to love other people being in love, but I just was so fucking depressed and about mum that I never wanted to get married um, ever. <laughs> I didn't want to have kids. I just didn't feel like I wanted to do any of that without my mum, but I think I was just with the wrong person. And now that I Oh my God, my blush just fell out and it went on my black pants. Great. So, yeah. Um, it's all about finding the right person. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? But yeah, I, I love like the whole concept of weddings. I love the dresses. I love like the celebration of love. I love that you get to spend time with all of the people around you that just love you so much. I get super mixed feelings about it because... <laughs> Like some days I'm like, oh my God, I'm so excited. And then some days I'm like full on depresso mode, crying in my bed on my own, not telling anyone about it because I just want my mum. <laughs> so it's a bit of a weird one. It's like a very up and down emotional roller coaster for me, but I am so excited. And I'm really, really fucking excited to try in some wedding dresses, guys. The thing is with the dresses, like I have a mood board I have a very distinct vision of how I want my wedding to look, but in terms of my dress, I love literally every style dress for different reasons. So that's why I am super keen to start trying some dresses on. Because yeah, I think it's gonna help me be able to sort of narrow down what style at least I wanna go for, like whether I wanna go you know, like a corsetti vibe, whether I want to go like the full princess moment, like big and puffy, whether I want to do a really sleek wedding dress. I'm actually very curious to know what dress you guys think that I will wear because even I don't know. I actually did an Instagram story about this and everyone thinks that I'm going to have a white silk low back dress, which I find quite interesting because... You know, I know my style's changed a bit, but I still am a little bit extra. But then am I? I don't know. I just don't know, sis. I don't know until I try some shit on, but I'm really excited to do that with Lil. Um, we're actually going over for the Stax show. So we thought we'll make a trip of it and we'll go for a little bit longer. Um, and I also get to see some of my friends that I went to Coachella with that live in Sydney that I haven't seen in ages. We're going to do like a little bit of a day sesh on Sunday and like go out drinking and get a nice lunch and stuff like that. So that will be divine. Also guys, I've been using this new Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk push up lashes and I love it. I was actually filming a TikTok yesterday and I was filming a get ready with me and I was like doing a chit chatty one and Long story short, I found my mum's passport the other day and I just haven't been able to stop thinking about it because her passport's still in date and it's just been like on my mind so fucking much that I'm just like, that. that's just so fucked. Like she should have been using it this whole time. Like 
I basically just haven't been able to get it out of my head. So um, I was filming a TikTok and I was trying to do my mascara and I was like talking about it because you guys love it when I like open up and talk about how I'm feeling about like my mom and grief and stuff like that on TikTok because I I know a lot of people that have experienced similar things and I, I always, always get messages from people being like, thank you so much for like talking about this and stuff like that. And you know, it's not an easy conversation to have. So I like to be able to do that for you guys to make it, you feel like, you know, you're not the only one that's going through something similar or feeling like lost without them and stuff like that. Like I, I my mum was my best friend, so I had a really close relationship with her. Um, so, Losing her was really fucking hard and it still is, to be honest, it feels like it's actually getting harder. And I, I think that's because I'm finally starting to actually deal with it. I'm going to therapy every two weeks um, about it. I'm actually going to therapy for a lot of things, but like, yeah, obviously my mum's death gets brought up a lot in therapy um, because it is such a trigger for me and I find that it triggers the way I think in not the best way, you know, so we're working on it guys. We're working on it. Also guys, Emco Beauty is low key a fucking slay. Like their stuff is so cheap. This is Emco Beauty. This is the magic brows and I get the blonde color, but everything is so cheap and it's actually really, really fucking good. <laughs> like you can get a full face of makeup from Emco for under $150. It's like actually batshit. It's crazy. And obviously they do a lot of dupes of Charlotte Tilbury and stuff like that. So if you're on a budget and you, you know, can't afford the OG Charlotte Tilbury stuff, get these, man. Get these. Like I still use these and I have the Charlotte Tilbury one. Today I'm going to go for a little bit of a lighter. Ooh. Today I'm going to go for a little bit of a lighter blush. So I'm going to use the actual Charlotte Tilbury one but this one is running out so i'm gonna get shana to get me another one because she gets 30 percent off um and i'm gonna get her to get me the full size in the magic serum as well oh another product that i'm currently obsessed with guys is the charlotte tilbury setting spray oh my god it's literally so good and it honestly smells unreal also, guys, this highlighter, my makeup artist, again, God, how many times have I talked about Shana in this? Um, she gave me this makeup, this highlighter, Vive Skin Dew, probably about a year ago, and I've never used any other highlighter since, and she literally gave me, like, a quarter of a bottle, and I still am using it. It literally lasts so long. Like, I've had it for over a year. It's fucking, un like, look at that. It's unreal. It's just so glowy, and it... Yeah, it just makes your skin look really nice rather than like a powdered highlighter, you know. Sometimes, I don't know if it's just me, but sometimes I feel like my face looks better without mascara on. I don't know what it is that makes me feel that way. Very strange. Here I go again, about to talk about Shana, but she gave me this Makeup Forever uh, lip liner. What is the shade? Anywhere Caffeine. And it's a very similar one to the... One that Hayley, Hayley Bieber uses. And I just put it on the outer corner. What was that? I just like put it on the outer corner first. And then I shadow it in from the side. I'm going to show you my makeup in better lighting. And then I just go on with my Laneige. This shit is the tits. Which is a nice natural color, you know. I tell you what, guys, getting a lip blush has changed my life. So I'm gonna show you my makeup in better lighting. So that's better lighting. Still not the best lighting. But as you can see, my skin looks like skin, you know? Like rather than sort of cakey makeup. I'm gonna show you my outfit once I get dressed. So OTD guys, these pants are from Third floor. They're really, really cute. 
They're a bit different. But the we like shoes. Them. The most controversial <laughs> shoes known to mankind, Jacques Hermes. I feel like they're working. Lift the pants. I feel like they're working. Show us the side. Oh, the side freaks me out. <laughs> I make, oh God, see, they still freak me out. Like on the side, they look like little elf shoes. Anyways, I'm rolling with it. And this jacket is lioness. And this new bag is Dylan Kane. New fur bag. And she's fucking stunning. Ooh. Me and Meeks love her so much. Hey guys. So I wanted to jump on and tell you about something that I think is really, really cute. So when I was clean, clean, when I was packing up my house, I stumbled across a mecha voucher that I had never used that I got given for my birthday one year. Fucking jackpot, I know. Um, and basically, I've wanted this certain perfume for so long, such a long time, but it's so expensive and I could never justify the price given how small the bottle is. So as soon as I found the voucher, I was like, I'm going to treat myself. But I do this thing now, uh, I've done it for like quite a while, but even more so now uh, after I got engaged, um, where I will buy a scent and before like, you know, a milestone or something, a holiday or something coming up that I think I really want to remember or have a scent to relate back to that memory. Um, so I bought this perfume because obviously we're moving into our first home together and it's very special and I, yeah, think it's re a really cute idea. But Joel bought me a Louis Vuitton perfume that I had wanted for so long, like so long for, I think it was for Christmas or my birthday and I ended up saving it all the way. No, sorry. It was for our anniversary slash Valentine's Day. Um, and I ended up saving it for our trip to New York and I did not touch it and I didn't use it until we got to New York. And now every time I wear that scent, I'm literally wearing it right now. Every time I wear that scent, it reminds me of our engagement and just our trip in New York because it was like the best trip ever. Um, and I wanted to do it for the house. So I got the Lee Labo Santel 33. I've wanted it for so long. I know it's so popular, but I just could never justify the price, you know. Um, but because I found the voucher, I was like, oh my God, yes. I only had to put in an extra $100. Um, so I wanted to tell you guys about it because I didn't know that Lee Labo did this. And I think it's really fucking cute and really sweet and such a good gift idea. If you can afford it because it's fucking expensive perfume. Um, but basically they customize the bottle and the packaging for you. Like you can get a little, um, quote written on there or you can like the lady at Mecca was telling me that she had a guy come in the other day and got, will you marry me on there? I thought that was so cute. Like, I, I mean, I'd fucking love that because like, I love this perfume. So I would have been like, ah, yes. Um, but I thought I would show you what I got. I really hope that you guys can see this. Ah, oh, there we go. So it says new chapter with a little star. Um, I just got the star for aesthetic purposes. <laughs> um, but I just think it's so cute. So it says labeled in Mecca Karen up on 15th of the 7th, 23 for new chapter, which I think is so cute. So they do it on the box, but they also do it on the bottle. I'm trying to get that to focus. It's so cute. Oh my God, guys, I really want to spray this right now. But I'm going to wait until Monday, until we're in the new house, because it's a special time. But yeah, I just thought that was a really cute gift idea, and I thought I would tell you guys about that. Also, guys, I've been getting absolutely torn to shreds on social media about these shoes, but I'm going to keep wearing them anyway, because fuck what everyone else thinks. I love them. I do think I styled them really badly on my Instagram with the jorts, but like, I think they're really fucking cute. So everyone telling me to return them, absolutely not.